Hello everyone, and welcome back to Coronavirus Corner. Charles says it's a remarkable coincidence that Boris Johnson can't go out in public at the moment, just when everyone wants to know what he's going to do without Dominic Cummings. Lydia says he'll do interviews and such like with Carrie Simons just off camera telling him what to say. And he's probably watching telly all day. The worst thing about daytime TV is the adverts. Creepy men talking enthusiastically about funeral plans to their excited female neighbours. Disabled donkeys and starving bears. Oh, it's all very sad. I prefer the evenings. Mind you, Bake Off is a bit of a disappointment this year. They've had some daft challenges. Who puts a jelly on top of a cake? And why would you make an ice cream cake in a heat wave? You'd just pop to the co-op for some magnums, wouldn't you? I once made a baked Alaska for a dinner party. I was ever so proud of myself. It was like magic when I cut into it and the ice cream hadn't melted. I used to love giving dinner parties. But I can't believe what we used to eat. We'd have a hors d'oeuvre, and a starter, and a main, and a dessert, and cheese and biscuits, and then brandy and chocolates. <gasps> I can't believe any of us survived the 80s. Auntie Nancy was always trying out some new fad diet, but she used to say, I don't diet after seven o'clock. There's no fun in life if you can't indulge a bit in the evenings. So during the day she might be doing Rosemary Conley or the Pretty Kin Diet. And then in the evening she'd have lasagna or roast lamb with a few glasses of wine. And then she'd say, diets don't work for me. And Maureen once said, it's because you eat so much in the evenings, Auntie Nancy. And she said, Maureen? If my metabolism hasn't got the message by the six o'clock news, it'll have to fend for itself. I think she was right. You can make yourself miserable dieting. I thought I was fat when I was a size 12 because Maureen was a size 10. And now I'd love to be a size 12. Maureen said to me the other day, I'd just enjoy it, Edna. Because you might get really fat and then you'd think back to now and wish you were this size. I said, oh, thank you for the vote of confidence, Maureen. But when I thought about it, she was right. I'm not going to worry. If I burst out of all my clothes, there's still always bin bags. Back then we had no idea what was coming, did we? I was saying to Charles the other day, the thing is, it's normal for our generation to look back to the good old days. But now the whole world is, even children. That's what makes it feel so strange. But there'll be good new days, you'll see. And then we shall look back at this time and we'll feel so proud of ourselves. The Germans are saying extraordinary times call for extraordinary heroes. That's us. So today's sensible tip is, remember, we're heroes. Taking care of each other takes courage. We're all doing wonderfully well. You take care, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.